it's a great opportunity for people to say thank you. And uh, this is a great opportunity for the communities to all come together. And it's hard to get everybody together at one time, and this is their drill day. And we were glad that the Army was willing to give up the drill day so that they could come and say thank you to them. Meet Jessica, a senior at Union University, a marketing major, and a Facebook member. I talk to people from high school, and so you can see what they're doing now, or people from other schools, and just get connected. Across the nation, millions of college students like Jessica are getting connected on this type of online yearbook. Union University is even using Facebook's popularity to reach students. Sometimes students don't check their box or they don't check their regular phone or maybe not even their cell phone, but you know if you Facebook them, they will look at it and they will respond to you. So it's While Facebook can be a good communication tool, its use raises concerns for some school leaders. How much information they put about themselves online, their birthday, their hometown, where they live, sometimes even where they're going to be at certain times. So security is definitely an issue. Now, even if you are on Facebook, you cannot view another person's profile unless he or she has confirmed you as a friend. But as we discovered, having a lot of Facebook friends is a social status, and denying a friend request rarely happens. A lot of people just add friends no matter what, you know. He requested to be my friend, and I was like, who are you? But I, I accepted him. Yeah? I just did. By accepting him, Jessica gave her new friend access to her profile which in some cases includes a student's home address and even cell phone numbers. They're not aware of the security issues and they're definitely not aware about how this, their information is used by others, perhaps against them. Ginger Trice, Good Morning West Tennessee. The images of these destroyed vehicles say a lot. They can't describe the pain that two families must now endure. Um, it's, it's just everybody's a wreck. I mean, you can only imagine what people are going to go through when they lose a loved one. For Heather Jones' family, the horror of losing a loved one must now be accepted as reality. I come out here today, I guess, for my own peace of mind. It was Saturday night when Heather's car was hit head-on by a pickup truck on Highway 70 East outside of Huntingdon. She was pronounced dead on arrival along with her aunt, Deborah Mitchum. Right here. Her uncle and son both remain in the hospital in critical condition. Miraculously, her three-year-old daughter was not severely injured. And now as his family tries to comprehend this devastating loss, they say they're also trying to look to the future. It's going to take time. A lot of hard work. We've got two kids. The whole family's got to work together to take care of, and that's the number one goal. But according to Heather's husband, what lies ahead will be the hardest part. Oh. The worst part of it is going to be explaining to my kids what happened to their mama. I just don't know how I'm going to explain it to them. Ginger Trice, 7 Eyewitness News.